everyone, so 2018 is underway and convention season is slowly creeping upon us. Because of that, I decided to make this little tips and tricks video to share with you some of the things that I have learned over my many years of cosplaying that will help make your convention experience more fun and a lot less stressful. So to get right into it, the first thing I want to talk about is your rooming arrangements. The first and probably most important thing you need to figure out is where exactly you'll be staying. A lot of people opt to stay in the hotel that conventions might be in or adjoin to, and that just depends on your personal preference. If you're like me and don't like to be in the party hotel, finding a hotel that's just a mile or two away and taking a Lyft or an Uber every day to the con may be a more ideal situation. Because let's face it, the older you get, the more that good night's sleep really means to you. So if you don't care if you have neighbors in your hallway waking you up in the middle of the night with their life problems or with their drunken stupidity, then staying in the hotel that the convention or convention center is attached to will be just fine for you. Me personally, I like to get away from the convention, away from everything that's loud and crazy, and just unwind and relax, and then head back out into it the next morning when I decide. Another important thing to know, not only just where you'll be rooming, but who you'll be rooming with. There are many threads and many posts and many relations online about convention horror stories, and a lot of these stem from the person's very own roommates. So my biggest advice there is to know the people that you're rooming with and set up some very simple ground rules. Rules such as don't mess with my stuff, stay to your side of things, no eating food in the bed, whatever your personal preferences are so that way you all can agree on just like I said some baseline rules so everybody has a good time. My absolute biggest and most mandatory rule about the people that I'm rooming with is that you do not bring someone I don't know into the hotel room without letting me know, especially if I'm not there. The reason for for this is pretty simple. I bring a lot of things with me to conventions, from cosplays to camera equipment to gaming equipment. Some of it is very expensive and I don't always have all of it with me. I like to know that it is safe in the room. So if my hotel room is full of people I don't know and nobody's told me and nobody's keeping an eye on these people, who's to say that some of my stuff doesn't go missing or get broken? But again, those type of rules are really just gonna depend on what you and your roommates need to be comfortable. So again, just sit down with these people beforehand, figure out what your baseline is, what their baseline is, meet in the middle, so that way everybody is having a good time and feels safe and secure in their own room. The next tip should definitely go without saying, know who your roommates are. It's understandable that hotel rooms can be very expensive, especially if you have a very tight budget. So you wanna get more roommates in so that way you can all split the price. The thing is, is that your peace of mind and ability to have fun at this convention should not be compromised because that friend of a friend of a friend you've never met that you're rooming with is a total disaster. The last tip I'm gonna give you for hotel rooms and roommates, if you are hosting it, make sure you get everybody's money ahead of time. The best way to do this, for example, is how my good friend has done it for the last few conventions we've gone to together in that they ask for a certain percentage of the room fee as a deposit up front non-refundable and then within two weeks of the convention we pay the rest of the amount this keeps people from bailing at the last minute and sticking you with the full bill and even if they do bail you still have the deposit so that way you're not at a such a large loss. Now tips for the actual convention. My first tip, always have a game plan. The conventions usually put out schedules before the actual weekend, so give it a look, see who the guests are, and get a general idea of what you're most excited about. Knowing what you want to do beforehand and going into the convention with a sort of game plan really helps because even though three days does seem like a long time to get a lot done, anyone who's been to a convention can tell you those three days go by really fast. So if you're planning to see that guest and go to that panel, find out what time it is, and plan the rest of your convention around it. If you just want to spend all your time in the dealer's room, figure out when it opens and closes, and plan everything around that. Cosplay meetups, gaming tournaments, whatever it is that you're looking forward to the most, make sure you set that as your main focal point and work everything in else around it. Another tip is to map out the area around the convention center. Knowing what's in your immediate area can save you money in the long run. Most of the time, conventions will have food trucks and things like that set up, but they're usually always pretty overpriced. So you could pay 10 or $12 for that hot dog from this food truck, or you can go the 20 feet down the road to the Denny's and get yourself a much better deal. 
Another bonus of planning out the area around the convention center is if you like to theme your cosplays for photo shoots. So if you look into a convention center's area and they have this massive water gardens type place or they have this massive beach next door, you can plan your cosplays accordingly if that's what you're into. Now there are a million different things that I can give you guys tips and tricks on in regards to conventions and cosplay, so maybe I'll make another part to this video, but for now I'm going to wrap up with this one last tip. Always make sure that you have have an emergency fund. Walking into a convention with a set budget is always a good idea, knowing how much you're willing to spend in the dealer's room, on food, things like that. It's always good to plan it out, but in addition to that set budget, have just a little bit put away for in case of emergency. Truth be told, there are a million different reasons to have in case of emergency funds. There are just so many different examples that I could give you guys. You accidentally spent more than you were meaning to, you saw this one thing that you just really have to have but don't have it in your original budget or your wallet gets stolen and you have no money for food or transportation or anything like that so in order to save yourself that struggle just put another $20 aside hide it somewhere keep it safe keep it separate from the rest of your money and you just Hopefully you never need it, but it's just better to have it in case you do. So I did think of one more tip that I do want to plug into this before I wrap the video up. If you're cosplaying, always carry some kind of emergency fix-it kit. Now I did make a video about making one a long time ago. It's a very old video, so please don't judge me too hard if you watch it. I will link it. Basically, it shows you what I like to carry with me when I'm cosplaying. Simple things like thread, needles, little super glues, things like that because you never know when you or a friend is going to need it. I also do tend to be completely overprepared just out of my anxiety and need to just make sure I have every little thing. So even though I pack hundreds and thousands of things that I may not possibly need, I'm that one person who's in the room where if their friend forgot something, you know, you open your jacket pocket and you're like, what you need, man? I got all kinds of stuff in here. Wig caps, bobby pins, I got you. So, you know, always be that person, the one who brings the medicine, the one who brings the extra wig caps, the extra bobby pins. It just doesn't hurt to take a small little bag, stuff it full of stuff that you're pretty sure you don't need because you never know when you actually will. So that is it for this tips and tricks video for conventions. I may make another one in the future. There are tons of other tips and tricks and I'm sure there's some that I didn't even cover. So if you'd like to leave some down in the comments, go for it. I may even make cosplay related ones later. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I've just been doing this for a while. So I have picked up a few things. Some of them learned uh, the hard way for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.